Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, we're going to talk uh, about Adam Driver, who plays Kylo Ren in the Disney Star Wars movies. Apparently, he's done with Disney Star Wars, just like the rest of us are. Uh, or most of us are. So we're going to talk about some recent comments there. We're going to talk about the uh, the Alka White. Some more information has come out about that. It takes place during the High Republic. Yay. The High Republic. And uh, we'll just talk about the utter state of Disney Star Wars and how everybody says it's in decline now it's not yeah, just the, it's the like YouTube all haters. the you go you search it like the media is like article after article after article say yeah it's 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 you know it's done it's over yeah they don't have the high ground they don't have the high ground anymore so we'll see how these new projects go we'll talk about the ray movie that's supposedly happening i i actually would not be surprised if disney decided to save some money given their uh, financial situation but who knows i don't uh, think so i think they'll double down on it <sighs> They're going to force you to like it. They're going to force oh. you to like Disney Star Wars. Yeah. Open up the and... The more you tighten your grip, the more star systems will slip through your fingers. You're going to shove that lightsaber all the way down your throat. You're oh, throat. Like okay. You're going to like it. Uh, then you'll you'll be I fine. I thought bend over for the lightsaber, but I could bend be over. wrong. I mean, that's what I've been told. Maybe I, maybe I was told the wrong thing, and I should question that. What? Anyway. <laughs> By who? Who told you these things? Uh, we're going to we're gonna talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Mm -hmm. uh, you will get a woohoo if you buy some stuff from us. Go out to shopclownfish.com. Pick up a copy of Crimson Ren Volume 1 or previously on Clownfish TV. Uh, we're packing these up daily. Mm -hmm. Shipping them out daily. These books are in stock. Uh, sorry for the delay. For those of you who pre-ordered, we had some issues, but uh, you guys have been very awesome, and most of you have your books, so thank you very much. Um, I have to, I have to laugh. This is about this is about Star Wars. I was just thinking, if we were to be, if you would be Sith, there's no question. <laughs> oh, thanks. Neo would be a Sith. I, I have would, no I doubt in my be. mind. I probably would be. I would be a Jedi. He would be a Sith. <laughs> so it's, I'm not wrong. Oh, speak, speaking of which. Yeah, I, I had to I had to put this up on uh, Twitter. My son got me this hat. My daughter got me the album, but uh, my son Supreme Commander Overlord. I'm the the SCO. Yeah, that's like CCO, but the Supreme Commander Overlord of Clownfish Studios. I think he couldn't decide between Commander and Overlord, so he's put them both on there. Commander slash Overlord. Yeah, it depends. Depends on the mood I'm in that day. Um, but Adam Driver says he's done with Star Wars. Now, we talked about this before where he's been kind of spilling the tea. Obviously, the NDAs must be up. But uh, he said that Kylo Ren's uh, story trajectory was supposed to go in a totally different direction. He wasn't going to be Shocker. redeemed. Um, he was just going to be a pouty little baby, and he was going to die a pouty little baby, and that was it. And he was going to go full Sith, and, you know, because that's why he killed his dad, because now it's just wasted. And that's, he's going to go full full Sith, you know, blast his mom out of the ship. He killed his parents. He's, he just went the path of evil. And then Ryan Johnson's like, no, man, we need you to show your eight pack so that we can put you make the Raylos. And, you know, the rest is history. The rest is history. Well, well so's, so's uh, uh, Ben Solo, apparently. Uh, he's history. His, Which is why he's not coming back. <laughs> he's not coming back. Yeah. So he's not coming back in any capacity. So people are wondering, like, is he going to come back as a force ghost or something in the or Ray like movie? A, you know, like a flashback or flashback. Something. Like, uh, you know, Ray tries to like bring him back through the midichlorians so she can ship, ship him or some stupid shit like that. Wouldn't be shipping him if she brought him back. I mean, something else that she'd be doing, but it wouldn't be sitting him. Ship, shipping, not shipping. shipping herself with him or something to bring him back. Like I, I've, I'm so strong in the force, I can use the midi well, She could do everything else, back. so, you know. You know. Um, yeah, so he was on a podcast with Jason Bateman and Will Arnett. Uh, Smartless. The Smartless. Po Everybody's doing podcasts now, even even the Bollywood people. Adam Driver was brought on as a guest, and one of the questions he was asked was whether he'd be doing any more Star Wars. This has come from Mr. Milo and Pirates and Princesses. We got it from Screen Rant. Everybody's talking. Everybody's like, they're asking a question like, is he going to come back? It's like the answer is pretty simple. He says, they're doing stuff, but not with me. I'm not doing anymore. And if they're in pre-production for the Ray movie, guess what? He ain't in it. He was asked. It could uh, be lying too, but you know. He said you're he done. He seems pretty irritated by the whole thing. He seems irritated. I think he was he was expecting more for his character. 
And uh, yeah, and I think there was just a lot of irritation the whole way around. Uh, everybody's like irritated. Sand. Everybody who worked on this this uh, franchise was irritated. We had John Boyega was irritated. Uh, Oscar Isaac said he was irritated. I still have that picture with Ryan Johnson and it has Boyega and Isaac in it, and he's like looking like he's like po- like making this like little gesture his hand like something small. And their and parts. Boyega just looks. Their parts are small. <laughs> I don't know. I said that. I said my peepee's this big. No. Um. He, uh, they just both look really confused and annoyed. And I think that sums up The Last Jedi perfectly. Yeah, because <laughs> the Force. confused and annoyed. Uh, look, The Force Awakens, not a perfect movie by any stretch of the imagination. I know some people absolutely hate it. I thought it was okay. Um, I think they were setting some, I thought they were setting other stuff up, but. It, well, they were, and then apparently they weren't. Yeah, it was J.J. Abrams. He's good at asking a lot of questions and getting you interested and then dropping the ball. Yeah, but he didn't even get to drop the ball because here comes Ryan Johnson he to. stole take, the ball. To, yeah, steal the ball. Kick the ball like clear out to he another scored, county. No, he scored for the other ball. team. Is what happened. He took the <laughs> he ball, <did. laughs> and he he got a, he scored a goal for the other team. No, and, no, he he caught the football and turned it into a basketball. Oh my god! And now we're at a totally different game. Yeah, we're a totally different game. So so you know they set up um, Finn and Poe. And they could have had that Luke Skywalker Han Solo dynamic. Going. Oh yeah, that's not the dynamic the Raylos were. And uh, you know, instead they they split them up, you know, for the movie, and and they minimize their parts, and they bring in these new characters. The women, to, the women they're there just to learn them. They each had their own uh, school marm to oversee Pretty them. Pretty much, and this po- is coming, and I'm a woman, uh, and that's the first thing I said. Yeah, they did. They had Poe had uh, Admiral Pink hair, and uh, Finn got uh, Rose Tico. And um, they both were there to basically make sure these boys knew their place. Mm-hmm. And they could have instead had Finn and Poe doing adventure stuff together. Not in the dirty sense, although I'm sure they some could have had be Finn that, being trained as a Jedi. They could have. They could have d- gone a lot they of, were gonna get. A lot of different directions with it that would have made a lot more sense given the way they set the characters up. But, you know, a subversion of expectations. Anyway, I think Am Driver's. Uh, expectations were subverted. He said, yeah, I'm done. He said, because the character's done? Yeah. I don't think he can say much. I think he's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm basically... Or, or he is still doing it. He doesn't want to tell you people because a lot of times they lie. I but, you know... don't. He doesn't don't, seem he like doesn't the seem type. He doesn't seem too into it. Didn't he have to, like, um, hide all his personal yeah, details because that, the Raylos you know, his were... wife and kid because, yeah, the Raylos, he was afraid they were going to go after his wife and kid. That's just messed up. So this means... that crazy. So this means uh, Raylo is officially over. Then, because if, if he's not going to be in the new Ray movie that they're supposedly doing, then it's over. Yep. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. She's going to get some new girlfriend, I bet. <laughs> probably. Um, so apparently like that, too, though. They're apparently, yeah, they probably would. Apparently, they're going to still do this movie. They're starting to film it in the spring. That's the rumor. But I don't believe anything anymore because Lucasfilm announces all kinds of crap and then it just never happens. That's true, but this one they might they might do because they're using it's not like a, a it's it's Daisy Ridley and Ray again. So uh, like here's an unknown name, these unknown movies about unknown things that we never really put into perspective for you, other than they're coming, other than Rogue Squadron, which actually seemed to have a bunch of stuff done for it, and they all just get deleted and flushed. But the Ray movie, they're gonna have to stick on that one because they're gonna look really bad if they don't. Well, they've got a lot of action figures, unsold action figures they have to sell. So this is what gets me. So people are looking at, at the trilogy as being this is this is what broke Star Wars, right? This is what broke Star Wars was yes. uh you know Ray and the all this sh- so let's let's make another Ray movie. Mm-hmm. Like yeah or 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 you could uh, do a movie that takes place between uh, Jedi and and uh, the sequels and uh, give us like proper Luke Han Leia, use some CG trickery or whatever you got to do, um, but, or give us that because that would probably go better. But no, 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 no. We're going to make Rey stick. She's going to stick. Well, she's the only one that's young enough to make stick. So, <sighs> But apparently I'm driver's out. So. I will, I guess this is one of those things where like, I'll believe it when I see it, because given pelts and Perlmutter and stuff, um, one of the biggest issues they have with Disney is that they've destroyed Star Wars, they've destroyed Marvel, and to be like, yeah, we're going to do another movie with this character that everybody hates, you know, it's... Can't wait to see the Death Star in this one. <laughs> it's going to be it's even, bigger, even yes. bigger. Yes. It's a big one. Oh my God, the Death Star. It's transforming into Galactus. Psych. Star Wars is part of the MCU <laughs> yeah. now, guys. That's it a mid. Planet. Oh my God, that's going to be the mid credit. 
Would Disney, oh my God, would Disney do that? Would they would be like, we're going to have this great big Disney-verse where Star Wars exists in one galaxy, but it's in the same universe as Marvel. And also, since we're running Doctor Who, yeah, the Doctor's running around too. It's all one big nerdy-verse. Oh my God, guys, get excited. We're going to combine all these all this shit that's not selling in one bigger pile of shit. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of a pile of shit, let's talk about uh, the High Republic. This is a huge yeah. failure. So the next thing that we have coming out from Star Wars is this Acolyte show. And they are basing it on the High Republic time, which nobody cares about. It was only in the books. And the books, I'm sorry, did not sell well. And the books were dumb. I'm sorry. The one the navigator was a rock. <laughs> I mean... It's a rock. Yeah. A, so, a rock. Uh, so they're gonna do this acolyte show, and then they're taking from they're taking from the 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 EU that they've canceled, because in the in the new show they're talking about two of the main characters are twins, and they're both girls, I guess, in this one. But uh, one turns to the dark side, and one stays on the light side of the light. So it's Jason and Jaina. Yeah, that's like, I love how they're like, yeah, let's burn down the EU, but let's also take some of the characters that work like Thrawn and probably Mara Jade and, you know, let's just take, let's just do everything that they did in the EU, just call them something else because we don't have any better ideas, right? Uh, yeah, so this is not, I don't, I don't have any hope for this. Oh, wait, I am, so it's a boy in this one. I thought it was a girl. I'm very confused. There's Evil a- Evil sister. So it's a dude and a girl because like one guy was playing both versions of his own character, a good one, a bad personality. Yeah. Whatever. There's either a, so there's two, a two a boy, boy twins and a girl. And a girl. Two girl know, twins or two something. I don't care. I know Daphne Keene is in it now. I, I will say I do like Daphne Keene. I, I did like his Dark Materials quite a bit, and uh, she played Lyra, and she was very very good. Uh, she was also Laura in Logan when she was a kid, and she was very very good. So I'm sure she'll be good. That being said, we've seen some good actors put in some shitty Disney so projects. The way it reads in this one, I read it from someplace else, and the, the other one read like it was two girls. I yeah, I don't guy, think, I think it is Jason and Jaina. It's a guy and a girl, I think. Yeah. I'm very confused. They said that it's, the, it's two twi- Jason and Jaina, 2.0. Pretty Either much. Way. Yeah. But Either way. Jason but, and Jaina, 2.0. But we're going to do it, but we're going to tie it in the High Republic. And I think the reason they're doing this is they're going to make this High Republic thing stick, even though it's a huge, huge failure. Like, they had all this fanfare. Is, this is Disney's problem. They keep trying to make things stick that don't do well, and they will not admit defeat and just realize, hey, this isn't working. Let's, let's try to pivot to something that works. No, no, we will double, triple down on it, because our DEI people say we need to. I shall make it law. <laughs> but I'm just like, it's stupid. But they're talking about different things, and they're, they're focusing on, I guess it's going to focus on the villains and the villains' viewpoint where there's fewer of them than there are Jedi, and they're trying to infiltrate the Jedi leading into the prequels, which honestly makes sense. I'm not going to say it doesn't. That actually, coming out from a villain's point of view and, and leading into that, tying into that makes, you know, how the Sith get into the Jedi makes sense, okay? Yeah. I don't disagree with that. They also they are basing it a lot on samurai films, which also, you know, makes sense because George Lucas did the same. So I don't know enough about it yet. They're clearly taking Jason and Jaina from the EU and doing it again. And then there are the higher public I, I have an issue with, but they're trying to sh- explain how these people got there in the first place, which I don't have an issue with. I'm just concerned about how they're going to do it. Uh, you know, the idea is good in theory. None of this matters. Here's here's the thing. That's it, true. None th- of it matters. This has been this has been a sweet release for me because I'm like, you know yeah, what? That sounds disgusting. <laughs> sweet, sweet release. Was it after the the, the, the lightsaber is shoved down your yeah. throat? Yeah, you get uh, some sweet release. Uh, th- no. So none of this matters. None of this is G canon. Uh, none of this is real. Uh, none of Disney Star Wars is real. George Lucas wasn't involved in it. He didn't create it. Even if he shows up on set or whatever and cuddles Baby Yoda, that doesn't mean it was his thing. None of this is real canon. It's Disney Star Wars. It's its own thing. And he said on multiple occasions that this is not the direction he would have gone in for any of it. And, uh, you know, I think Filoni, I mean, for all his talk of like, oh, I'm George's apprentice. I don't think he actually was. I think he was a guy who worked for George. But he probably does have a better grasp, kind of, sort of, on what... Lucas would have done. That being said, it's still not George Lucas. The only thing that counts, the only thing that counts as George Lucas Star Wars are those six movies that he made. Mm-hmm. Everything else is apocrypha. You don't have to, you don't have to accept any of it as, as being canon. You can just be like, yeah, I'm going to watch the original 
trilogy and that's it. That's all mm-hmm. I want to watch. Or I'll watch the prequels. They're not as good, but I'll, I'll watch them too because it was still George's story. The stuff that Disney is coming up with is corporate product. It's not, it's not George's Star Wars. It's just, it's Star Wars, big budget fan fiction, bad fan fiction. And uh, there's a lot of fan fiction out there that's better than, you yeah, know, than what's worry. being They'll produced. They'll sue you real quick. <laughs> so. But like everybody now, they're starting to realize that this shit's broken. Like Disney Star Wars is broken. We've got like this Disney podcast. Star Wars has died. It's dead. We've got multiple articles out there that, uh, you know, it's there's a decline uh, in Star Wars interest. Um, you know, the shows are not doing well. The movies are not doing well. The s- toys are rotting in ollies, mm-hmm. you know. And it's it's very, very clear that they have chased off a large portion of the audience that they thought they're buying. That's the thing. Disney buys this stuff. And they, they did this with Maker Studios, too. They buy this stuff. And they think they're buying the audience, too. They think it's a given. They think that the audience is going to come with it, and you can do whatever the hell you want to do once you own that thing, and you're going to get those eyeballs. And that's not what happened. I mean, you have to be a good custodian of what you buy, and Disney buys so many things, and they mismanage so many things that they don't get anything, right? They're not even getting Disney right now. We're seeing, like, all their movies are freaking failing, too. You know, Wish and live-action princess remakes, and it's all failing. Well, I keep seeing happening, and we see it over and over again, when they keep trying to, you know, not just Disney, Hollywood in general, when they keep trying to rely on IP that's already been established. The problem is when you have established IP, you already have a fan base that comes along with it. The reason it's still relevant after years and years and years is because there are people who love it very much who have supported it over the years. You can do some new things with it. You can get a new audience for it, but you can still and you can do it in such a way that you keep your old audience for the most part, and then you add new people to it. If it's beloved that long over several generations, a new another generation added to it shouldn't be hard. But yeah. the problem is, y'all get these new people in there who just want to re. It would be great if it was my movie and it was my fanfic come to life. They don't want to respect what came before. A lot of times they don't even watch it. They just want to tell their story based on what they think they know um, to, to, you know, for them and their friends. And then you alienate your core audience. And then you, then you tell the, your audience that they're a bunch of shit. And we don't want you. And then you have, then, then you know, one's happy. And that's what they keep doing. Whether it be Star Wars or other things, it's not just Disney. It's across the board. And then they're like, let's double, triple down on the stupidity. And then they wonder why it fails. You have to, like you said, be a good custodian of it, but you have to understand what made it good, why people support it, and take into consideration those that supported it and make a story that appeals to them as well as new people. And it can be done. It's done. It used to be done all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I don't know, guys. We'll, we'll see. We'll see where things go, but it doesn't look like uh, Disney's course correcting anytime soon. They're just doubling down on the shit that didn't work. Maybe they don't have another, they don't have a plan B. Uh, I'm hoping that they they get forced to have a plan B. I just don't understand how Kathleen Kennedy's still there. I don't uh, understand how you can idea. done F up so much and still have a job. I just, where do I get a job like that? Where I can just do whatever the hell I want, screw up right and left, cost the company billions of dollars. It's so bad that South Park makes a, a mockery of me in an episode and everybody finds it hilarious and relatable, and I still have a job. The government? <laughs> yeah, right, but politics, I mean, yes. Politics, that, yeah. So. There you go. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.